Maybe you've heard somebody say, well, I'm just not into spiritual things. Are you, are you a human being? Yeah, too late. <laughs> the issue is not whether you're a spiritual being or you have a spirituality. The issue is whether your eyes are open and you're aware of it. You cannot deny what is central to your makeup as a human being. In the Hebrew language, there is no word for spiritual. If you would have said to Jesus, Jesus, how is your spiritual life? What? What do you mean? Because to label one area spiritual is to label other areas not spiritual. It's absolutely foreign to the world of the scriptures. It's absolutely foreign to the worldview of Jesus. The assumption is that you are a fusion of two realms, and a human being occupies a totally unique place in the entire universe. How you handle your money, how you handle relationships, sexuality, forgiveness, reconciliation, business, school, work, play, recreation. Everything we do, we do as an integrated being, 100% physical, 100% spiritual. These first Christians latched onto this right away. Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it in the name of Jesus Christ. What were they saying? Every act is a spiritual act. It's whether or not you're aware of the implications of what you're doing. 